As we mentioned, investigators say a man impersonating a police officer shot and killed Meacham. Our team coverage continues with News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis, who found James DeCourcy had a lengthy criminal history. This is where that suspected cop killer's life came to an end, right here in the middle of the intersection. Though that crime scene has since cleared, what happened early this morning is still on the minds of many. Gunfire rang out in the middle of Gunthrie Highway early Friday morning. An accused cop killer gunned down by law enforcement in Montgomery County. Uh, one of the other officers hollered that uh, he's got a gun and they just kept on shooting him. Jonathan Harper watched the scene unfold as officers shot and killed 35-year-old James DeCourcy after ignoring law enforcement's verbal commands. They probably shot him. I don't know how many times they shot him exactly, but they, I, I, I probably heard at least 10 or 12, 15 shots. DeCourcy has been a wanted fugitive since February after walking out of a halfway house. In 2011, he was released on parole after pleading guilty to manufacturing meth and drug trafficking. But the manhunt for DeCourcy intensified after being linked to the shooting death of Officer Philip Meacham. He worked with us for approximately 12 years. Captain Chris Miller tells us before Officer Meacham joined the Hopkinsville Police Department, he was with the Christian County Sheriff's Office as the police department and sheriff's office prepare to bury their brother. It's a tragedy the community is trying to understand. As the days multiply, you know, grieving is going to get more severe. You're going to have more emotion. But right now it's just kind of an up and down. Now there was a gun found near DeCourcy's body. The TBI is investigating to determine if this officer involved shooting was justified. For now in Clarksville, I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.